Okay, I'm still finally sat here still with uh, Eric Usting, uh, whose name I can just about pronounce, I think, after three tries. Um, and he's a master's student at the uh, University of Stockholm here where we sat. Um, and one thing we haven't covered yet that I know you have an academic interest in um, is alien abductions, yes. or the idea of alien abductions. Um, why is that so compelling an idea, do you think? Why is it kind of an interesting idea to get drawn into? Well, the thing is... Uh it, I don't think it has been sufficiently studied up till now, so right. that could be like a good f field for doing my master's thesis. Right. And also, I think it's 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 an interesting uh, subject since it, it, it I think it can show the intersection between the popular culture on one hand and the ufological ideas on the other. And also, it has some kind of familiarity with all the folkloric beliefs about uh, people being taken away by different kinds of beings. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, it's kind of like folklore for present time. So it has that st the structure of those stories isn't that unfamiliar culturally? No, I, th I think that you, you could probably find some kind of similarity, and um, so I know and there are some folkloric studies done on on, uh, on abductions, but most of them are from the eighties and early nineties. So I guess there something new can be can be done with this. And something we were talking about off camera was the idea of abduction, which we're pretty familiar with the kind of uh, popular culture idea of alien abduction as kind of violating people yeah. and kind of anal probes and all sorts of you know, scary things. But also the idea, you talk about slightly more um, prevalent now, of a spiritual journey? Yes. I mean, there, are, uh, there were like three main uh, abduction um, theoreticians, if you want to use the, right. you, yeah. use the term. Uh, two of them are dead now. It was uh, John Mack, uh, Bud Hopkins and David Jacobs in America. And uh, but Hopkins and David Jacobs were more into the, the standard kind of way that this is something intrusive and violating mm. people. While John Mack, who was uh, who was um, had been into SLN and stuff like that, uh, he was more into the idea that this was something that were transforming people, that that people were claiming to be almost feeling like selected in a sense, and that it was something something spiritual happening to them through this abduction experience. So the people who returned in that version of it, that narrative, were kind of different to the people who left. They were kind of altered and not for the worse. They weren't just kind of damaged, but were somehow transformed or...? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess most people would, would, would consider it to be like a, a, a terrifying experience mm -hmm. from, from what I've read so far. Yeah. But at the same time, it was some kind of positive purpose to it, that they were kind of selected for something, something good. If you look upon like uh, uh, Hopkins and Jacobs' works, they would they would see some kind of purpose behind it, but it would be like a nefarious purpose that the aliens right. are some some way here in they are using humans for some kind of very intrusive sense that they're kind of making kind of genetic something something trying right. to so kind of experiment yeah exactly humans. creating Using hybrids and kind of so invading Earth in a sense right so treating us as kind of lab rats or yeah while uh, the more like popular or um, not positive would be probably, mm. like the, the positive interpretation would probably see that 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 these uh, happenings or claim happenings, mm. of course, would would be would be something that's that's perhaps beneficial to Earth in the long run. That they are could be perhaps like a, there's like an ecological disaster just waiting to happen. That these aliens are somehow help. doing this to help us. So preparing to either evacuate us or to help transform us. Yeah. Or, and that seems, although. It has a slightly different kind of um, content. It doesn't seem that far from the idea of spirit journeys and all those mythologies you find in very tribal religious groups of um, communing with spirits and various sort for certain people. Yeah, I mean, there, there there have been for quite some time people within the ufological field who have looked upon like the abduction phenomena mm. as like akin to like shamanic. Uh, yeah, that's what. But I also, the, an interesting point here is that. These, I guess, these could of course also work like the other way that it could be almost like legitimizing in a sense that if you can like look upon other cultures and say that they have like similar stories and stuff like that, it could, it could like, mm. you can look upon it and say that this is like our version of these kind of stories. Yeah. But if you look upon it from the inside, they could probably like look upon it and say that this is something similar happening. So, yeah, so they could, if you were within that culture, subculture, you could say the fact that these shamanic organizations had something similar, they didn't have the vocabulary for, yeah. but what was really happening to them was the same thing that we're talking about, just that we have a better understanding of it. Yeah, I guess you could, uh, 
I'm pretty sure, sure you can find some, some kind of idea within it. Okay. Though I, I, I know that some of the like um, proponents of these like alien action theories, they would claim that these happenings are not that far back in time. That they mm. because they, they 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 consider it to be in, in a sense that if it happens um, if it happens to you once, then it will happen to you through your whole lifetime, and that it runs in the families. So they kind of did the math backwards mm. and and, tr and try to see how long it would back yeah. in time for it to start, and they said it would be like early 1800s. Uh, really, so that's the, well, kind of the the idea is prevalent within kind of that culture of alien abduction of, the, of those abductors having interest in the genealogy of certain families, or yeah, I mean it, the abduction phenomena started as uh, when when it started in let's say the idea of it started in the early 60s, but mm. you, you can probably find it in like sci-fi pops yeah. earlier, but uh, like usually. Uh, the so-called Betty and Barney Hill case from like the 61, though it was published in 64, is, is mm. usually considered to be the first case. And, and that was often considered like a, a lone um, happening, like people mm. were in the wrong place at the wrong time and had extremely bad luck and were they abducted. They just came yeah, be out the wrong yeah, night. Like yeah, very much so. And somehow in the early 80s it started to shift and it became more of an epidemic. And Bob mm. Hopkins, who I mentioned earlier, was was um, his book Missing Time, kind of popularized the idea that this was something that was happening again and again and again. And that's and a th big shift in the narrative about yeah. it, from being you just happen to be out in your pickup truck in the wrong night and they yeah. come down to actually they're seeking out certain people. Yeah, and 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 and, and also I, I guess this is kind of concurrent, you know, with the, the whole idea of. Uh, Repressed memories and probably satanic ritual abuse, in a sense. So I guess mm. you could probably look upon it as the, one of these like ideas uh, that emerges all at a similar kind of time, I guess, post sixties yeah. up to the eighties and nineties, where people start wanting to, or people start talking about these kind of yeah. experiences that have been hidden but then come out. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. And I think alien abduction. It does sound like, from what you said, is. It sounds like it's full of religious imagery, you know, spiritual journeys, self-transformation, and the idea of somebody caring about you but having purposes for which they might do things to you that you may feel uncomfortable about, but for which there's another purpose. So it, it sounds very religious. Yes. So I guess it like it exists both in that form and also in mm. the form of people claiming to be like victimized in a sense or like used yeah. by it. so it's 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 very like with, with the whole like the ufological field it's very diverse so it's it, i guess it's you, you could probably find some common threads but also you have to be aware that it, it ideas exist in very very many different forms and mm. well certainly but i think from a long way away uh, it looks very similar and very kind of unitary but actually the more you talk about it and the more we look at it i think you, you know there is that real diversity in terms of how much it does resonate with religion, how much it resonates with kind of claims about being scientific, and how much it's kind of a, a kind of socio-cultural phenomena. Thank you. Thanks, Eric.